Good morning. It's quite early still here in Senya, about half seven, something like that. Now, I'm going to get the ferry today to Lufthuten. Well, I'm hoping to get the ferry. The thing is, here in Norway and in a few other bits of Scandinavia, the service is provided to the person who shows up first rather than permitting a booking. Now, some things do permit a booking, but ferries are not one of them, and campsites usually are the other. And so there's the ferry from Grilla Fjord to Andene. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing those. It goes today at 11. Everything I've read online pre-pandemic advises me to be there at least two hours in advance. So that's nine o'clock. So I need to be away from here by eight o'clock. I think I'm just going to get up and go. See you on the road. <music> Stehen von der ersten Form stehen seit gestern Abend. Okay, ich hoffe. <laughs> Und auch. Well, this is Grela Fjord, which I've reached two hours and 15 minutes ahead of schedule to find a massive queue of traffic. It's about 400 meters, 500 meters up to the actual port. I thought these were people just pulled in to have a snack. Turns out it's the actual queue. I got talking to the guy in that white van who's German and he said there have been people who've been camping here since last night. And the very nice couple in this blue van who are from Australia and Sweden have walked further up and said they've discovered there's five lanes of traffic this really is jeopardy. With two hours to spare, I don't know if I'm going to make it on board. They missed their last ferry for the same reason and thought they were in lots of time for this one. But again, people have been queuing here from last night to make sure that they get this ferry journey. Lesson learned, I suppose. Well, if I have to wait for two hours, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. <sighs> Refreshing. I'm now showing you things that um, I haven't shown you before. It's always handy to have a battery charger on hand because I was off grid last night while camping. I had no way of charging up my mobile phone. Whenever you're driving, obviously you can recharge it then. It's handy to have the backup uh, available as well. The other thing I'm showing you is this little kind of plastic table with beanbag things on the bottom of it that I got from Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon store and there's a link to that in the description below. And this, you sit on your knee with your laptop on it. And then there's a mouse pad, not that I use that, and a little area where you can sit your phone. So your phone kind of sits up. You can see what's going on in that without having to pick it up again, which is handy. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now is some work because I'm dedicated like that. Help me. I haven't tried it in this position before, but it seems to work just fine. I've pushed the seat back as far as it can go, and I'm kind of wedged in with it now, so let's get working. Okay, I have no idea what's happening, but we've pulled forward into the spaces that other camper vans and cars were in the traffic lanes. I don't know if that means we're getting on or we're now queuing for the three o'clock ferry, which is another four hours wait. Holy heck. Mm. 
That over there, disappearing into the distance, is the ferry that I was hoping to be on. I was the third next person in line. They accidentally or otherwise let on one of the other queues out of order, so I should really be on board there. I can either wait five hours for the next one or just drive to my next des destination, and I'd be in at my next destination in five hours, so I think I'm just gonna go. I've just arrived here at Kong's Garden, which is run by the very charming Ivar. He's managed to find me a space. It's very rustic, but very charming for it, I think. Hello, I've pitched up in this very random spot after that beautiful drive through the Lofoten Islands. And as you saw, there was a lovely reception area. Now everything is a little bit rustic. We're up the end of a gravel drive, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's like the Alpine Hills in The Sound of Music. And yes, our group of children walking up. I'm excited to say that the flies are back. Yes, mosquitoes, flies, fliegen, geflüffeln and scheiß fliegen. They're all here in a mad rush to try and add their nibbles to the other nibbles that I have on both my arms, my feet, my legs, everywhere. Almost everywhere. Okay, I bought some interesting food to eat. Ow. Darn you, that was a mosquito. I bought some interesting food to eat. I'm gonna eat that and uh, enjoy the fact that I've got electricity and Wi-Fi. Thank you, remote rustic area. There's two megabytes, but I'll take that. I may not see you until tomorrow. Sleep well, Kindern. Mm -hmm.